System test OK.
Ground Gamer Golf, Alpha Mike Echo Romeo are ready to taxi south departure. Gamer Golf, Alpha Mike Echo Romeo, taxi to and hold short of runway 15 via taxiway Alpha. Contact tower on 122 decimal 8 when ready. Ground Gamer Golf, Alpha Mike Echo Romeo, say again please. Golf Alpha Mike Echo Romeo Taxi to and hold short of runway 15 using Taxiway Alpha. Contact tower on 122 decimal 8 when ready. Taxiing hold short runway 15 via Taxiway Alpha Gamer Golf Alpha Mike Echo Romeo. Generic November 06073 ready to go runway 15 IFR to Boise. Generic November 06073 cleared for takeoff runway 15. Alpha Mike Echo Romeo. Tower Gamer Golf Alpha Mike Echo Romeo at runway 15 ready for takeoff departure to the south. Gamer Golf Alpha Mike Echo Romeo taxi into position and hold. Position and hold Gamer Golf Alpha Mike Echo Romeo. Generic 073 contact Salt Lake Center on 128.05. Alpha 
I'll be dang, I had the stupid mic on mute. <laughs> I'm like blabbing away and uh, can't hear a word that I'm saying. I forget. See, that's what happens when you forget to do a mic check. <laughs> yes, I was stalling a lot before <laughs> because the autopilot was being dumb. You know, standard stuff. Alright, come on, let's get higher up here. I've had trouble with the autopilot on this plane before, so... Let's see if we can get it up to 4,000 here. Look, the autopilot. <laughs> How could you stall like that? One of the biggest problems with this simulator, and they still can't fix it. The autopilot's working great! Ugh. This is what I get for trying to get to a higher altitude. Alright, there's another button down here. Let's turn that on. I think that might have something to do with it. Sakes. Stall, 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 stall. Okay, now what the heck is it doing? Why is it telling me it's stalling? The speed was going up, but it's telling me it's stalling. Look at this. I'm going in the opposite direction now. Oh, I really hate this simulator. think the autopilot is on because it keeps switching off
I've tried to do that. This plane just... I feel like throwing my controller at the monitor. I've had problems with this plane before, too. This is the Baron G58. It's a piece of garbage, if you ask me. I was hoping that maybe one of the updates fixed it. I try to get elevator trim working. This sim you know what? I hate to say this. This simulator pisses me off. It should be a lot better than this. Heck, Flight Gear, which is free, performs better than this. I am using the elevator trim going down, and it just. Oh, God, I hate this thing. <laughs> Flight Simulator 1 and 2 work better than this thing. Inesic. <laughs> Inesic, welcome to the Killer Gamer Stall, Stall, Stall channel. <laughs> I am using the elevator trim and it isn't doing jack with this thing. Look, here it is. You see it? It's it's moving. Oh, well, now it's doing something. Okay. <laughs> Stall gamer. <laughs> Only with this simulator, I do not have this problem with the, with the other simulators. It's just this one. See, now look what it's doing. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, am I going to regret putting on the autopilot? Probably. Oh, hell! <laughs> Oh no! Autopilot works better in Flight Simulator 3 than it does this. Look, what it, look, look, it's turning me all over the place. I have it locked into GPS. Well, that's VNAV, that ain't gonna work. Yeah, nav is on. I am not flying this plane next time. Oh, the flight dynamics need more than polishing. They need to be completely redone, if you ask me.
And I thought I hated P3D. <laughs> Some planes work okay. It looks like it's behaving itself now. But holy crap. Okay, where are we? We're, we're in uh, Idaho. I almost said Ohio. That's not right. We're in Idaho. Yeah, this thing was a uh, mainly decoration. Could be just me. I don't know. I tend to break things. <laughs> Okay, what is that lake we just passed there? Oh crap, now what did I do? There. Alright, can I switch to my vertical speed? No, I can't move this thing. Oh, shoot. That's because I'm hitting the wrong thing. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> well, we're here! <laughs> Is the landing gear down? It is. I thought I put that up. Hey, we're going back to where we came from. <laughs> it's right. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we're doing some mowing the lawn too while we're at it. <laughs> I hit the C key so that way I can turn it and stuff. C, I can turn it. We didn't even make it halfway to the airport. Well, you all wanted a picnic, right? Here, let's go down this way. <laughs> we're going to drive there. That's what we're going to do. Man, what a disaster. <laughs> Get up in the air! <laughs> Full throttle! Stall, stall, stall! I can't get up in the air. 
<laughs> oh my word. Expect the unexpected on the Killer Gamer channel. You never know what you're going to get here. That's Report us. <laughs> descend? What? <laughs> oh, that was landmark. Never mind. I'm not even using autopilot now. And I seem to have better control over it. Imagine that. And feet, yeah, when I started the stream, I didn't even have the mic on. Yeah, so I was doing a lot of commenting on on the because um, we left Ontario, which is a small town, yet there were skyscrapers there. I ain't touching the autopilot. <laughs> we seem to do we seem to be doing much better without it. <laughs> Request taxi following just in case. this use passenger address system what does that do I have no idea Alright, I turned the uh, autopilot on. Because it's always fun. Generic zero five eight descend and maintain six thousand seven hundred feet. Okay, I think we are I think we might have stuff under control now. Oh no, I didn't lose <laughs> Now it is. I was pretty sure I pulled it up the the first time around.
I think I might categorize this uh, stream as comedy. <laughs> Instead of putting it under gaming for Microsoft Flight Simulator, I think I'll just choose the category of comedy. Man, I need a drink after that. I've got AI traffic on, and so we're hearing a lot of generic, 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 generic. Because I wanted to get some air traffic out there at the uh, small airports. Okay, there's a big lake over there. Let me take a look and see where what that is. Uh, let's see. Ha! There it is. Paddock Valley Reservoir. So that is the uh, Paddock Valley Reservoir out there. Wait a minute. Nope, sorry, that's not a reservoir. Lake Cascade. That's Lake Cascade over there. I was looking at the wrong thing. Okay, the last time I looked at the controls, I had a little bit of a problem. Let's get higher in altitude here. Come on, stupid autopilot.
My elevator trim ain't doing jack right now. Come on. There. Oh, really? Okay. Let's pull some information up on the uh, on the airport. Look at this. I have Navigraph on the other computer and it's picking up my location on uh, Flight Sim 2020. That's wicked. <laughs> I was not expecting that. We don't have any maps for this airport. Lower Loon Creek, Chalice, Idaho. I found the airport though. Here's the airport. This is where we're going to be landing at. We got a runway 34 and um, 16. Looks like there's a couple of. I'm not sure what that is. It's blue. It must be little reservoirs or something. Heart of Idaho Animal Sanctuary. Looks like it's in between these mountains here. And it's just outside of Chalice. This is Chalice right here. mountains keep getting taller. Generic six one Bravo descend and maintain seven thousand nine hundred feet. Is there ice forming? Looks like there's ice forming on the window. <laughs> now that's what I call a steady aircraft.
and Leon's getting large. That's exactly what I was thinking, too. <laughs> I was thinking the same exact thing. The mountains are getting larger, and Leon's getting larger. <laughs> Look at that dress! That's awful! And those shoes! Jeez! <laughs> Generic one nine or one contact Salt Lake Center on one three two decimal four. Going to one three two decimal. I'm bringing the throttle down here a little bit. Okay, I think Chalice is going to be on the other side of these mountains here. Can we get a good traffic program, please, so I don't have to hear landmark? Generic zero five eight, you are eight hundred feet above your assigned altitude. Descend and maintain six thousand seven hundred feet altimeter two nine or decimal eight zero. My goodness, this thing is like almost down the minimum, and I'm still going fast. Okay, we'll be landing soon, and then I'm changing aircraft. Traffic Gamer Golf Alpha Mike Echo Romeo 24 miles southwest 8,800 feet inbound to land runway 34. Okay, we are about 24 miles away from the airport. Oh my word. Let's change that. Oh shoot. We're not on the. We were, oh my goodness, we are getting ice. Look at this. Okay, that's cool. I haven't seen that before. Where's that de-icing thing?
What, it de-iced it that quickly? Look at that, it's gone. It's not that quick, is it? Oh, by the way, I don't have real weather on. I'm using a uh, weather theme. I have that uh, SoFly weather presets. Which is actually uh, kind of nice. I actually like it. Where are you going, Sparky? Go back the other way. Wow, can't see a thing. Well, I will say that Flight Sim 2020, I did get one good thing out of it. It got me to get my i7 machine fixed. <laughs> I got my i7 machine fixed because of Flex Sim 2020. It like sat around for two years before I finally fixed it. Okay, that airport should be coming up here soon. Boy, this is going to be interesting. This little town is like right in the middle. It's like right in between these mountains. I thought they improved the night lighting. I haven't looked at it, but I thought they I thought that was one thing that they did was they improved it. I guess not. <laughs> Alright, let's turn Oh heck, let's just turn the autopilot off. I'm getting close anyway. We're at uh, 140 knots. Hey, let's start dropping flaps. Woohoo! <laughs> Why not? And landing gear. Oh, my landing gear does not work on my butt. No wonder they never went up. Somehow my controls got reset. It's not, it's not, uh... I have the landing gear set on my controller. It worked before, it's not working now. This is why you have checklists, right? <laughs> okay. Where's that airport? I think it's on the other side of these uh, mountains over here. Oh, wow. The lights had problems anyway. 
Um, I did a couple of reviews on Orbix scenery, and there are like globes of lights that hang above the street, and some of them were much higher than what they should have been. Alright, uh, Chalice should be right on the other side here. Yeah, it should be right down there. Ooh, this is going to be a fun airport to land at. Hey, come in here with a uh, 747. <laughs> See how well it goes. <laughs> if you want a landing challenge. Where's that airport at? <laughs> Where's the town at, for that matter? That town should be, like, right here. Now the scenery with the mountain and everything, this is pretty impressive. And the uh, the little river down there, that's that's pretty cool. Okay, maybe maybe the town is over here on the other side of the. Well, let's try to get around this thing. This thing stalls too easily. We should be seeing the the town now. Maybe we're not as close as I think we are. No, we're not there yet. Okay. Well, this is pretty cool VFR we got going right here. This uh, river will take us over to Chalice. Maybe I should uh, bring the flaps back up. <laughs> Stop. And the landing gear.
Okay, I think it's down there. Is that the airport? Dirt? Is that it? <laughs> Is it a dirt runway? Whatever. We'll land at this airport. That's the airport, really. Everyone ready to go fishing? <laughs> oh, this is not the... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. Wow. So, this... Okay. So, apparently, what we're looking at... I could use a laundromat. <laughs> I don't know about you, but this does not look like this at all. This does not look the same to me. Yeah, so you can see, where is it? Well, that's not the river. Where the heck? Are we, are we at Chalice? Oh, okay. Interesting. That's interesting because, uh, when I selected this airport, it had this little star next to it, suggesting that it was one of those handcrafted airports. Let's pull up Navigraph here. Huh. Here, here's Chalice, Lower Loon Creek. Is this it? Maybe this is it right here. This is Lower Loon. Okay, it's probably Upper Loon Loon Creek right here. Really? Huh. Huh. 
Ah, okay, I see it. It's over here. Well, at least my uh, marker thing is working on uh, on Navigraph. I meant to land here, folks. We we were going to go fishing. Remember? <laughs> we're going to go fishing and. Uh, Switch airplanes! That's what we're going to do. We're going to switch airplanes. <laughs> Let's fly something better. We'll continue from that airport. See, do you see how it has a star next to it? Now maybe it just added it, I don't know, but I thought the ones with the stars were the ones that were handcrafted. Alright, what was it? K-L-L-J? Switch aircraft. Let's get rid of that barren, that barren piece of junk. I'm gonna go to my trusty uh, 172. Let's see. See, here's all of the presets that I got from that SoFly uh, weather preset thing. There's like a whole bunch here. Oh, okay, there it is. I have it set. Let's do low and breezy. There's one for light rain, too. And they truly do have one, like, with... Uh, heavy storms. They're able to push the... Uh, presets a lot further than um, than what you with them what you can do ooh got dark it's kind of weird we're gonna move that up there Someone was nice and brought a, uh, a Cessna here for us. There we go. A plane I actually like. Now, why are we turning taxi lights on? <laughs> Turn the taxi lights on! This should be interesting. It's going to be off in that direction there over the mountains.
there. Oh, come on. I'm at full throttle. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Apparently this doesn't work. <laughs> so I guess we're uh, too high up to use a Cessna. All right, let's try another. Uh... <laughs> that was a dream. What would happen if you tried to use a Cessna? That that was just a what if scenario. That was not a real flight. <laughs> so we probably don't want to use an icon I guess we're going to have to use the turbo prop let's use the um, the TBM I, this plane is actually good I like this plane So that was that was just pretend. <laughs> I was showing you what not to do when you're high up in elevation. Do not try to fly a Cessna. Although I've been higher than 5,000 feet before, but oh well. <laughs> that is correct, John. Everything we do here is planned. It's all a learning experience. <laughs> All right. Well, I was trying to fly it properly. I could not get any altitude, even though I was pulling up on the stick. Oh, well, this may not work either. Boy, if it's this bad getting out of the airport or the landing strip, what in the hell kind of plane do they use? Oh my word. We're getting bounced around a little bit. All right, land the gear. That might help. We got a warning light here.
Holy smokes. Man. Turbulence is bad. Hey, the sun actually looks decent. The last time I looked at the sun, it didn't have a, a haze around it. It was just like a white circle. That actually looks decent. I think my control sensitivity is that high. I don't know. Let's take a look at it. Controls. I mean, I didn't move it. Where's the sensitivity? I have no idea. Um... I mean, no autopilot craft, whatever. I don't see anything there. Okay, where's the landing gear? Here it is. According to this... Input 10? Is that input 10? I have no idea. Yeah. Okay, so my landing gear was selected, but for some reason it wasn't... It wasn't working. Hmm. Okay, this might be a good altitude. Let's see if I can get this to go on here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I gotta turn it on over here. I think it is on. Okay. Okay, well, start climbing. <laughs> I set it for 10,000 feet, not 5,000 feet. Oh, come on. The autopilot disengaged. Oh, it's still disengaged. What the hell? Oh, nice. Okay, so I guess the autopilot's not going to work. Come on, TBM, don't let me down. Okay, I don't need to go up into space. Stall. Stall. 
how am I stalling at that speed? Go this way! <laughs> go, go that way. This thing feels so rickety. Elevator trim, elevator trim, do something, elevator trim, elevator trim. My word. Now we might be getting uh, turbulence due to the uh, weather preset that I selected. What did I select? Low and breezy. I wouldn't call this breezy. <laughs> This is what it looks like when you're flying drunk. <laughs> maybe the plane has alcohol in it for fuel. Maybe the plane is drunk. Maybe that's the problem. Okay, up there I think is Chalice. That's a little bit more open there. My goodness, I'm afraid of landing. If it's going to do this. I think I see the airport. I think it's right here. <laughs> Keep your eyes focused on those two white little dots there. Oh look, my button for the landing gear actually worked this time. We'll drop our flaps at 180 knots because, well, you know, that's just how we do it. Ebold. Hello. Murray Dryer. I'm sorry. I hope you're still over there on YouTube. 
Uh, the chat was covered up. I didn't see it. Sorry about that. Death Wish? <laughs> Can we get a view from the outside? Yes, we sure can. <laughs> oh my heavens! Jeez <laughs> oh, wheeze! Yeah, we're landing at this airport that's right over here. <laughs> we got Daldman saying, hey, fly to Indonesia. Well, hey, why not? Why don't we go to Indonesia? That sounds cool. Where the heck is that truck going? <laughs> Where the heck's the airport? <laughs> it's over here somewhere. There it is. Oh, this will be a fun landing. Holy heck! <laughs> Man, I wish we had instant replay. This would be relatively entertaining. Not up! Down! I'm trying to flare. Ugh. Ugh. Arrow! Arrow bisector! Holy crap, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> I'm going backwards, folks. Slow, slow, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Holy smokes, okay. Oh, Murray there. Okay, you're still there. <laughs> She's like... He's like, I am not going to miss this landing at all. Man, the controls on this thing are just blah. I'm almost thinking, let's just park right here. Hmm. I don't know about you, but I don't think that van is a plane. What do you think? I think whoever parked that there got confused. Maybe that van flies. I don't know. Let's get a closer look. <laughs> it's a flying van. <laughs> secret wings uh, pop out. Alright, so this is Chalice. 
This is uh, Chalice, Idaho. Ah, hey, look! It's got the little water things that we we looked at. This we we saw this on the um, on the map. Hold on, let me pull that back up again. Here it is. So we were looking at the airport before we landed. Landed at the wrong airport, by the way. We landed on some dirt strip in the middle of mountains. Yeah, that went well. So yeah, so this has got a couple of uh, little water things there. Here's the airport. And the uh, town of Chalice is just right over here. <laughs> so that's cool okay and there's the town there's the town of Chalice right over there wow this is actually kind of cool this, this looks actually uh, pretty cool in this area Try a higher dead zone. What do you mean a, a higher dead zone? Where? What are you talking about? In here? Oh, I don't see anything. Oh, here. Sensitivity. Okay. See, there's my sensitivity right there. That's rudder. So, what, bring it up about 5%? Well, let's try 6. About 6, 5, I don't know, I can't get it there exactly. Uh, done. Apply and save. Okay, how about we go to Indonesia? <clears throat> yeah, we'll head over to Indonesia. Why not? Any airports? I don't know. Let's look up one. Indonesia. Here we go. Kasig, Kasig, uh, Kasigunku, Poso, Indonesia. Let's fly during the daytime. Hmm. Let me pull that up on Navigraph. WAFP. That sounds like a radio station. You're listening to WAFP. Oh, that's on the edge of a... Okay, well that's cool. I see another airport over there. <clears throat> Let's just pick a um, parking spot here. This looks good. Parking nine. We're not going to select an airport. We're just going to fly out of there and uh, wherever we go is where we go. All right, then weather presets, because I have a whole bunch here. Hmm. High-level clouds, gray and dull, freezing rain, drizzly rain, 
Dense clouds, coastal winds, calm winds. I'm gonna do calm winds. Blazing sun, big and bold. Yeah, let's use big and bold. Let's change the aircraft. Let's try my Cessna now and see if it works. Where, where is it? Here it is. Yeah, I think that'll work. Can you join? Well, yeah, absolutely you can join. Of course you can join, Arrow! I am on here, all players, so I'll be able to see ya. Got live traffic on, got preset. I've got that SoFly, that SoFly uh, uh, weather preset thing. It's actually quite nice. I highly recommend it. I've been wanting to do a review on that on the channel for mm, a few weeks now. Anybody else want to join? We could do some flight formations. I'll try not to run into you. <laughs> What are we at? 12.09 p.m.? Bring it down a little bit. 10 in the morning. That'll work. Yeah, Murray, you probably will need a, a, a sick bag. <laughs> but don't worry, we brought drinks. We brought drinks, so we got Sprite, we got 7-Up, and if you want to mix it with something, we got that too. <laughs> that way you won't feel anything on the next flight. <clears throat> we will deaden the pain. <clears throat> is there like nothing at this? Oh, is there buildings? So oh, there's a building. What are my multiplayer settings? Uh, let's see here. Online, I'm on automatic East USA. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That is the big and bold uh, preset setting. Again, that's what that weather, uh, that SoFly weather preset thing. It didn't cost much. It cost it like five bucks on Orbix. Um, and I highly recommend it. It is a really nice uh, thing. You know, if you want to have a little bit of variety in your, um, in your weather, you know, if you're, if you like to have something a little, a little different and not always real weather. Yeah, I totally recommend. Oh, what's that? Oh, okay, I thought there was something written on the side there. This is actually kind of a neat airport over here. This airport has um, no buildings. Maybe it's not supposed to have any. There's that. <laughs> That's the hotel. That's the hotel we've been staying at. <clears throat> That's okay, John. We'll wait. We will wait. Ugh. Anybody else want to join our flight? Go ahead, jump on in, flight simulator. We'll wait. <laughs> what is that? Is that little thing? Okay. 
I didn't see this in between. I just saw this over here. I was wondering what in the world that was. W A F P. Yes. Yeah, so that's where we're at if you guys want to join. Whiskey Alpha Foxtrot Papa. This is actually a very pretty area. I like the uh, the green here on the the mountains. That's kind of cool. Oh, there's a building. I missed it. There's a building right over there. Have I... Have I what? <laughs> have I tried St. Martin? I don't know. I don't know if I did or not. I know I tried flying with the Beechcraft G58 and it's a piece of garbage. That was all over the place. Yeah, if you want to see some comedy, you got to go look at the pre uh earlier in the stream. We uh we had a picnic uh, on the side of a mountain um, halfway through the flight. <laughs> and then we rolled backwards, so that was fun. <laughs> oh, St. Barth. Yeah, I think I did do that one. That's the challenge, right? That's kind of cool. Kind of fast forwarding it. Yeah, I think I did do St. Bart's. I'd show the video, but I've been, um, I've noticed, uh, when I was going back, there was like one video, I think either you shared or it might have been John, uh, that afterwards it was like the stream or the video was copyright claimed and all this stuff it yeah so unfortunately and also uh twitch has been banning people left and right too so it's been pretty crazy lately <clears throat> Well, while we wait for Arrow Bisector and uh, J. Mike to load in here, you sent me a friend request. Where? <laughs> oh, you mean in the in in here? Well, where is it? Where? Oh, I see it. I see it. There we go. Yeah, if you guys want to send me a friend request, that's cool. I'll tell you what. How about I change this? Um, I've seen this before. Like, even though it said automatic, it, it didn't change me anyway. Let me just select East USA. Not sign out. I don't want to do that.
Can I change it to West Europe? I suppose. That is got a better. Let's try that. I do have tags on. And the last flight that I did, I was online because I did see another tag. So I should be here. Keep it at USA. Come on, Arrow. You're, you're confusing us, man. That's not bad, 206? Or is that not good? I don't know. Whoops. <laughs> Wrong one. West USA, I got the I got a better uh thing going on there. At least it look looked like it was. Alright, we're on West USA. Chrissy Mulligan. Hey, 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 how are you? Hope you're doing well. We got a couple of folks from the killer community that's going to be joining us here in the world once they can find me. <laughs> We're going to have an interesting flight. So for those of you who are out there and would like to join our flight, you are more than welcome to. John says he should be on the run. Why are you over there, man? There you are. Corvinus 70. Okay, so now Arrow, it's just you. <laughs> you just need to get logged in. <laughs> no, I figured that's where you start it. I always try to find a parking spot if I can. West USA. Are you taxing or flying there, John? <laughs> it looks like he's about ready to... Are you... Yep, okay, he's taking off. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Oh, nice. <laughs> that doesn't look out of place at all. <laughs> Let's figure out where in the heck are we going anyway? Oh, let me pull up that Navigraph thing up again here. Where are we going? Where, where, where are we going? Okay, so Navigraph can pick me up here, which is actually interesting because I have this on a different computer uh, than Flight Sim 2020, so the fact that it can detect where I'm at is interesting. Okay, so we can fly over here to Palu. We could fly over there. That might be kind of neat over here. Um... We could fly to Australia. Was this Thailand? Could fly over there. What do y'all think? Remember, I'm in a Cessna. Where do you guys want to go? You want to go to Australia? Do you just want to kind of fly to some small airports in here, or maybe over here? 
What is this? Kodo Kodo Bauru. There's some stuff up here too. Uh, Chrissy's like, you're the pilot. Australia. All right, Australia it is. Let's go here. Let's go to Darwin. I'm going to do some old-fashioned navigation here. Darwin. Oh, there's two. There's two vores over here. That's interesting. Um, one one two point six zero. Let's go two nat in. One one two point six zero. I like my classic navigation. I don't need a flight management computer. <laughs> Let's see. Not close enough for that. That is a reciprocal of 310. Which. Do -do 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 -do. Right about there. Okay. That is what we're going to want to take. Now I need a nav to leave from. So this vector right here is the one I'm looking at. Here's a VOR, 112.80. Yeah, 112.80. Um, I can't tell what heading that is. We'll just uh, head in that direction. Which ICAO? Oh, you mean the other one? I don't know. I'll look. I'll look here in a moment. One one two point six eight. One one two point eight. One one two point eight. Aha! There we go. Let's s switch this to. What thirteen? Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll take we'll take the one three zero radio out of uh, Poso PSJ. Here I'll show the uh, navigraph again. Okay, so PSJ that is the that's the vor we're going to be flying out from. At a uh, one three zero vector. Oh, I might have to look at some of these other vores here along the way. Here, let's fly to this one here. Kendari. One one five points. Oh, just one one five. Yeah, we'll start. We'll we'll fly here first. One one five. Me and my nav navigation. <laughs> this is how we did it in Flight Simulator Two. Ooh, I don't have a. Oh, it it pulls it up. KDI. That's correct. Okay, we probably won't get a signal until we get up in the air. The arriving airport? Uh, Darwin. Darwin. Here, let me put the flight plan in here. That might help. Uh, 
It's... The heck is it? YPDN, Yankee Papa Delta November. Here, pull it up here. So this airport right here, Darwin International in Australia. So we're flying from Indonesia to Australia. Let me put that in here. New flight. WAFP. What was Darwin? YPDN. I ain't doing an auto generate route. We're going to create. Okay. There we go. Okay, now let's go in here and let's start adding the nav nav stuff all right here's Kandari we're add we'll add this one what else okay here's another one Wackatoby <laughs> what about Toby whack him that's what it's an NDB yay let's uh, hopefully the NDB will work on this one I did a flight earlier with uh, X Plane 11, and the ND, uh, the uh, ADF didn't didn't work, or the NDB wasn't there. One of the two. Here's some more stuff. Dill, Dilly, D I L. There we go. Add that after. W I See by using VORS we can do sightseeing. Okay. That that should work. Right there. I think that'll work, folks. That'll be our flight plan. So we're going from the airport which is uh Whiskey Alpha of I keep wanting to say Frank. Foxtrot Papa, and we will be going to Kendari, which is Kilo Delta India. That is the VOR for that one. And then we'll go to an NDB, Wakatobi. <laughs> Maybe it's Wakatobi, um, which is W I. And then Dill Pickle, Dilly, <laughs> at. <laughs> Delta India Lima and then finally Darwin which is uh, Yankee Papa Delta November there you go folks that's our flight plan that's what we're gonna do I have no idea how long that's gonna take but if we need to land at least we have an idea of where we're flying You're in Texas there, Chrissy? Yeah, well, it's 3 in the morning for me also. <laughs> what the? It's a ghost! <laughs> Is that you? It's a ghost plane. Look. <laughs> you can see through it. Oh, there you are. I'm like, what the heck happened? Oh, you slewed. Did you slew over there? Isn't that cheating? <laughs> okay, that's set. All right, we'll worry about other stuff once we're up in the air. What are you doing? Going around in circles? <laughs> Is 
Excuse us. <laughs> Come around here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm going to clip the wings off of some of these planes here. Did you land, John? Or are you at the other end of the runway? I see you over there. I'm going to take off from the runway heading south. Anybody coming? Papa Traffic Gamer Golf Alpha Mike Echo Romeo is taxiing to runway 21. Yes, sir. -y. All right. Turn around right over here. Come on, rudder. My rudder control is not very good here. Okay. There you are. You're over there, John. I see ya. Okay, I'm not getting a signal here yet. Squawk 7355, Gamer Golf Alpha Mike Echo Romeo. Gamer Golf Alpha Mike Echo Romeo, radar contact 2 miles southwest of Whiskey Alpha Fox Drop Papa 800 feet. Altimeter 29er, decimal 9 or 2. Let's go with, uh, oh, okay, no, that's right, it's this right here. That's right, we're gonna catch this radio right here that vector so <laughs> we need to go this way Gamer Golf Alpha Mike Echo Romeo did you copy no I don't have a printer I didn't copy it copy Gamer Golf Alpha Mike Echo Romeo Okay, right about there. Where's my autopilot stuff at? Right here, I think. Let's 
give ourselves some altitude. Right now, I don't really need the autopilot. I'm actually doing okay without it. Doing some classic navigation here. Just like they taught us in Flight Simulator 1 and 2. By the way, I do have a game review on Killer TV, the YouTube channel, for those of you who are not aware of that, um, of the very first scenery disc for Flight Simulator, so Sublogic Scenery Disc number one. It's just under 10 minutes long, so if you'd like to see a, a review of the very first uh, flight simulator add-on in the franchise go check that out and tell your friends tell your friends about it oh you saw it Chrissy what'd you think did you like it be honest you can be honest <laughs> I, I won't be hurt. Well, maybe a little. I do want to get some more game reviews uh, and stuff like that up on the channel. Uh, I'm kind of a perfectionist when it comes to videos like that because um, I had gone to school for video and film production, so that's kind of a, a big thing for me. get us to 4,000 feet here. Um, believe it or not, that 10 minute video took me probably around 9 hours to do. Crazy, huh? About 1 hour for each minute of that video. And that's not just the editing that's getting all the video footage of all the different areas um, because I was comparing the graphics between flight simulator 2 and 3 and uh, yeah 2 and 3 uh, with the Commodore 64 and the the PC and and stuff yeah so it took it took time to get all that together and then, of course, to write the script and uh, to record that. And, yeah, so <laughs> it, it, it took a bit. Can I do 70 knots? I thought that was you. I saw your name pop up over here. All right, hold on. I'll slow down. Hey, let's go outside. I see ya. I see ya, see ya. Oh yeah, that's right.
Now, if you want to see something really entertaining, you should see me fly a, a 737, 747. Yeah, that. <laughs> Watch how I fly those, and you'll be sure to tell your superiors, don't ever hire this guy to fly... What do you fly? Southwest? <laughs> Never to fly South... Southwest is a great airline, by the way. I love Southwest. Yeah, I've got I've got plenty of uh, stuff on the channel. For airlines and stuff. I think I recently got I think for FS9 I think I got a collection of 737s I think for Flight Simulator 2004. Yeah, Southwest Airlines, the, what, like the only airline that actually comes around and gives you uh, snacks and stuff. They're like, they're like old-fashioned flying, you know, when flying used to be fun on an airline. You know what, I'm not going the right direction. I missed my mark. <laughs> We're sightseeing. <laughs> Chrissy's watching this saying, man, this fool doesn't even know how to navigate. I hope he doesn't get a pilot's license. <laughs> there we go. Murray, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And thank you for being a viewer. I love I love having you all 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 show up to the videos and the streams at it uh what the, <laughs> the heck is that arrow? <laughs> it uh it really gives me a lot of inspiration. It it does. And uh and this means a lot. This means a lot to me. Um, something that I've always wanted to do was get in, into enter, entertainment, entertaining, and uh, video production, film production, video editing. That's something that I've always wanted to do uh, professionally. It's not professional at the moment. <laughs> Maybe someday. <laughs> But yeah, being able to do all that and be able to uh, share that with people all over the world is is a great blessing. Well, new no Lucia, we are uh, we're doing multiplayer as a matter of fact. We're flying, we're in Indonesia, and we're flying to Australia. So if you want to hop into a, a Cessna and join us, I'll let you know what we're, we're, we're going to land here in the trees is what we're going to do. Guess I should probably get higher up in altitude. That might be a good thing.
Come on, Cessna. I shouldn't be going that slow. Come on now. Yeah, that's all in. Flaps are up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, elevator trim. Come on, elevator trim. You think it? KG, you think I should lean it? Isn't that going to slow me down? Hold on here. Okay, there we go. Finally, my elevator trim's working. Alright, well... Oh, it's not in all the way. It was leaned a little bit. It was at 91%. Okay, here we go. All right, let's turn this back on here. As the killer gamer goes all over the place. <laughs> the autopilot from hell. I hate this. When you turn on the autopilot, it automatically goes into a roll. Watch that. See how it goes into a roll there? There you go. There you go. It's behaving. Okay, and our localizer is moving. So, we're on course here. As soon as I get past these mountains, I'll show you the flight plan. So that way, if you do want to join in, you can pick an airport uh, that we're going to be passing over. Arrow keeps showing up all over the place. <laughs> Let's go around this. Uh, right over here. And yeah, we'll go around this way. I think I'm going to have to go around over here and come around. Land? If you call that a landing, sure. <laughs> Could land over there. Bush flying! See, we don't crash. On the Killer Gamer channel, we don't crash. We just land with style. So, just, just keep that in mind. <laughs> Arrow, can you slow down? <laughs> okay, I'll slow down a little bit. 
I'm in a Cessna. How am I? How am I outrunning you? Okay, I think we're almost clear of these mountains here. Let me uh, turn this direction. Oh, that's right. You're in a 152. I would fly the 152 if it had an autopilot on it. I fly it here and there, but I like to have the autopilot so that way I'm not all over the place. Are you able to switch the aircraft mid-flight? I know there's something in the developer menu that lets you do that, but it never worked very well for me. A French Bulldog! You know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of the, uh, the song by the Beatles. Hey Bulldog! My wife and I, we watched uh, Yellow Submarine uh, about a couple weeks ago, I think. Yellow Submarine, man, that never gets old. That is a timeless movie right there. You go back to the menu and then spawn? And how the heck do you spawn inside me? <laughs> Must be an option, I don't know. I have a Siberian Husky and three cats. My Husky is white. With beautiful blue eyes. Okay, I'm checking my course here on uh, on Navigraph. I'll let you know. Let's see. Let me change this here. Okay, the uh, radio that you want to be on is 150. You want to be on 150 out of uh, tune your frequency in the 112.80. And we're flying out from the 150 radio. Information Zulu. Okay, let's pull up Navigraph so that way you can all see what we're doing here. So there we are, and there I am, you can see it. I'm right on that pathway right there. So I had to adjust my course a little bit. Here is, here's some airports along the way. So for those of you who are wanting to join in, you could uh, take off. I almost, I almost said launch. You could, you could launch yourself out of uh, W A W S. Bor, was that Sor Soroko, Soroko, Indonesia. Whiskey Alpha, Whiskey Sierra. So if you want to take off from there, you could do that. Meet us along the way. Uh, you could probably take off over here too. Maro Marlo Wally. Waffle. W Yeah, waffles. Oh man. Waffles. Yeah. I'm hungry for waffles now. <laughs> 
So you could take off from here and you could meet us over here. Yeah, so this is our first uh, nap point right here, Kendari. There is an airport over here too. That is the Hello, that is the Holo Oreo Kendari Indonesia uh, Airport. <laughs> Halu, Halu Olio. Olio, Olio. Okay. Coming around. Turn that off there. Look on the left. I see ya. Down over there, I see ya. I was gonna say, is that you? <laughs> yes, it is. And <laughs> now I see your tag there. John, he's still over here. How far back are you, John? Do we need to slow down a little bit? Got some pretty countryside here. It's kind of neat. <laughs> yes, Chrissy, you can be in a rocket uh, launch. As a matter of fact, if you just get it, if you just hop into a seven thirty seven. Uh, you should be you should be able to catch up to us in no time. <laughs> Have you um, all watched the X Plane Eleven streams? They're still here on Twitch and they're over on YouTube also of where I was flying the Aerostar 601P. That, oh wow, that plane, that almost launches like a rocket. Put that thing in full throttle. That thing, uh, that thing takes off like a rocket. That's a great plane. I like that plane. You don't need an international airport to take off from a with a 737. Well, you're you're a proper pilot. You probably should do it the way you should. <laughs> if it was me, well, you know, we take off from a dirt landing strip or something. Yeah, the last thing I want to do is is be a bad influence. This is interesting. Look at this. What is that? Did someone just go wild with a lawnmower or... 
<laughs> or what? That's cool. That is like really cool. I've not seen anything like that. For our Indonesia vi uh, viewers out there, what is that? Let us know what that is. That's cool. see I'm gonna pull that up on a map where did we fly out of it was something Posco Pos Roscoe <laughs> Roscoe Pico train oh Poso Poso in Indonesia that is where we took off from all right let's see here Poso Indonesia. I think I found it. Here's on a map right here. Here it all is. I was hoping to see what that might be, but low, low, low EO, low EO. So this is whereabouts where we're at is right here. In central Suli Sulawesi, 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 Wesi, what, what, that, Wesai, I'm not sure. Doesn't really uh, say anything there. Oh, rice. Okay. That looks really cool, though, from the air. That just looked really neat. <laughs> Let's go back and land on it. Oh, that's funny. They call it a family rocket. Okay, so here is what I was talking about. This is the Aerostar uh, 601P. Here it is from the, uh, the X-Plane store. This is where I got it. It's from Avia 71. It's a great little plane. There's a few things on there that are not uh, that don't work, but for the most part, it's a nice little plane. And this thing, this thing shoots out like a rocket too. 
You can go really fast on this. This is a great cross-country plane, I think. I had recently bought some Orbix uh, scenery for X-Plane 11. I got the True Earth, Washington and Oregon states. And plus the Darrington Airport, one Sierra 2. I got that from Microsoft Flight Simulator also. So riddle me this, Batman. Why are the Microsoft Flight Simulator airports cheaper for Orbix than they are P3D and X-Plane? My initial thought is that the detail is not as good as it is on X-Plane and P3D, but I just find that hard to believe. Is it because supply and demand? Well, I mean, it's digital. Supply shouldn't have anything to do with it. But there's more demand for Microsoft Flight Simulator, so they're making the airports cheaper? I don't know. You think that's it? As far as the work put into it? So are you saying that the making airports for Microsoft Flight Simulator is easier than it is for P3D? It actually takes more work for P3D and, and X-Plane? From the uh, pictures, um, P3D and X-Plane uh, airports still look pretty good, I think. Yeah, we're still on track here. Oh, they just released a new airport. Hold on here. It starts with an L. Here it is. They just released this airport. This was showing up on their uh, splash page. So, Obia Costa Smerida Airport. About $19. There's the pictures of it. That's not bad. So let's see, uh, the one that I recently got here was this one here. I haven't looked at it yet. I got the X-Plane version of this and I think I got the P3D version also. The, it, looks, it looks nice for X-Plane. And I am thinking of getting uh, Innsbruck. So 
I've got this one. I got the Graz Airport. And the Totten is somewhere in here. I got this one also. The Totten Airport. Yeah, so... Um, I'm looking at getting this airport right here. The Innsbruck. And I'll get the FSX P3D. And I think there's an X-Plane version too. I'll get those. Oh yeah. Yeah, I already know about the discounts. I learned about the discounts when I got... Uh, Merrill C. Megs because I first I did I get it for X-Plane first? I think I bought it for X-Plane first and then I got it on FSX and that's when I first learned about the discounts and so yeah I picked up the Darrington Airport I think it was nine bucks because because I got the discount for it. Of the seventy eight? No. No I didn't. But I'll show you something that I do want to get. going to be $33, but take a look at this. I want to get this for X-Plane. <laughs> the Icon A5. Check this out. The wings fold. They don't do that on Microsoft Flight Simulator, but they do here on X-Plane. Oh, and I get people. What? We got a parachute? Oh, cool. Yeah, so I'm... I'm interested in getting this. I think this would be a fun thing to fly with uh, X-Plane. What do I like better, daytime or nighttime flying? I like both, actually. Um, for stuff like streams, uh, just so we have something something to look at, I usually do uh, daytime stuff so that way you know we don't look outside and it, <laughs> it looks boring. But on the World Tour series, I do. Uh, daytime and nighttime flying. The type of flying that I like doing is where you, um, like I fly a 24 hour period, so I get equal amount of daytime and nighttime flying. We got a lake coming up here. see if I can find out what lake that is. I think... Hold on here. Okay. That is Lake Matano, 
or Matano, not sure. It's right here. We are right about here. So this is Lake Montano that we're approaching. And we will see, probably see this, which is Da Danau Mahalono, something. And then this here, which is Lake Tau Tauyudi. So we should see those. What's this here? I don't know, it's brown. I think that's a town or a city or something. Yep, so that is where we're at. Let's give you an update on Navigraph. So here we are, right there. You can't see the lakes here. But we are just less than half uh, to Kendari. I'm kind of thinking that by the time we get to Kendari, we should probably switch over to another plane. Something that's a little bit faster. Not an Airbus. <laughs> Yeah, we'll, uh, John, we'll switch, we'll switch to another aircraft. Waffles. <laughs> Do you know what's weird? Chrissy, your your message, it it came up, it said show or hide. And like I had to approve your message in order for that to show up. I'm hungry, I'm ready for some breakfast. What what is wrong? Why would YouTube <laughs> What what is actually wrong with the statement that YouTube is is uh, having me accept it or not? That's just weird. Unless it's the picture, the little emote thing there, I don't know. That was weird. Okay, so once we get to Kendari, why don't we go ahead and land there, and uh, we'll switch aircraft. I want to stick with general aviation. Um, I don't know, what do you think? Should we jump into a King Air, or just stick with the, uh, the TBM? I don't know. I don't know if I'm getting... I might be getting a tailwind. I'm not sure. I'm just under 120 knots. How far back are you? Right back there. Oh, who else is out there? Steve rings. Steve, are are you are you flying with us? <laughs> okay, well here he comes, and there he goes. 
Oh, he's slowing down. All right, Steve Rings, he's tuned in. That was hey, that's impressive. <laughs> he managed to come all the way up and slow down. That's impressive. Taco Bell. Taco Bell sounds good. Who is who is Steve Rings? Don't stall. <laughs> he looks like he's about ready to stall. Well, Steve, if you're watching, hi. Nice to have you. My goodness, we are getting some... We're getting some weather. There he is. Steve is coming around over here. And his 787. Boy, it looks like he was trying to catch up with us, so he didn't have any problem. <laughs> Does anybody else have a problem with the slew function in uh, Flight Sim? Like it goes way too fast. I've also noticed that when I try to go right, it goes left. And when I go left, it goes right. I found the, the slew mo to not be the greatest. I thought you could set the chain, but I couldn't find out where it was. By the way, if you want to get rid of this uh, handle thing, you know how the handle thing is always up here? There is a mod where you can remove it. You see that? So, I have information on the channel if you, if you want to get a mod. I... I show like where you can go to get it and how to install it and all that other good stuff. So, <laughs> John is like, I'll just slew until I'm far ahead. <laughs> yeah, look at that. I'm already catching up. I'll slow down a little bit. How about that? How about we do that? Let's see. Let me slow the throttle down to 85%. Let's pull the mixture out a little bit too. Let's see what that does. I'm slowing down a little bit here. I'm going to see if I can slow down to about one. 10. My mixture was uh, full rich, so... Oh, I don't even have my lights on. How come you guys didn't tell me? <laughs> my navigation lights aren't even on. Okay, so the lake that we're flying over here is uh, Lake Tau Tauuti. T O W U T I. And there's a little island in the middle, which you can see that right up ahead.
Oh, uh, here's a question for you, Chrissy. Do you play, or since you're an actual pilot, where, where do you do your practicing on? Do you do it on X-Plane? Do you do it on P3D? I'm going to assume it's not on Microsoft Flight Simulator since we don't have a study level, level aircraft. So yeah, I'm just curious. Um, do you like practice with a PMDG over on P3D or, or one of the uh, X-Plane? Uh oh, I'm low on fuel. <laughs> well, it's not that bad. Explain. This is okay because you know what? Inside the cockpit, we actually have a place that we can put more gas into the uh, plane. So, yeah, we'll just go ahead and just put a little bit more fuel in there. Yep, just pour that fuel right in there and we're good to go. See that? We don't have to land. <laughs> That's why we can't. Just in case you were wondering why we have like a little. Uh, fuel portable fuel carrier over here to the side that's why we just we just pop open the uh, uh, the cap and just pour the fuel in it's for our emer emergency stash this is pretty See, we're talented. We're talented here on the Killer Gamer channel. You didn't know that we could do in-flight fueling, did you? Now, ask me if I had success doing that on a PMDG aircraft. <laughs> on P3D. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the answer is no. <laughs> oh, so here we go. If you want to see, if you want to look at some of the airline uh, aero bisector, we'll tell you all about it, about, <laughs> about uh, how scary my flying was. Um, on Killer TV, there is a series that I did when I was on... VAT sim. It's called the Vatris 2020 Crossing Vatris 2020 event. It's in a playlist. Uh, but I did that on P3D. And I had bought a couple of PMDG planes just for that. Uh, but I also switched off to some other aircraft. I did a CRJ. Oh, and if you want to see something really entertaining, watch me try to fly the Airbus. Oh my word. An Airbus is, is supposed to be easy to fly, I think. I couldn't, fly, couldn't fly that thing at all. I can fly the Airbus in here though. The Airbus that's in Microsoft Flight Simulator, I can fly that. Yeah, before the uh, what what PMDG ones do I have again? Is it the seven sixty seven? I still have to get all that reinstalled since I moved everything over here to my i seven computer. I still need to get my PMDG aircrafts uh, reinstalled. I think I have the seven forty seven. 
and I think I have the 767. I think those are the two PMDGs that I have. And then I also have the Aerosoft Airbus collection. And then there's a CRJ collection that I got. Yeah, why not? When we get to the airport, let's switch over to a 737. That way I can, uh, we can turn this stream into a comedy stream and you'll be able to see, see how wonderful I land uh, an airliner. <laughs> Yes, you could. What's my barometer? I don't know. I probably need to adjust it. Let's see. Let's click the B key. Oh, nope. Apparently this is right. This is adjusted. That needed to be fixed. Yeah. So according to this, I'm, a, I'm at 5,500. Are you able to are you able to stick with me or my or am I still leaving you in the dust? Let's see. Are you still back there? There's Steve. That's impressive, Steve. <laughs> He's flying the same speed as as I am. That's impressive. Where's there Oh, there you are. I see you. Okay, John, you're over there. Arrow, where are you? Where did you go? Are you down there? We lost Arrow. Where did you go, Arrow? You were flying alongside me. This doesn't make anyone dizzy, right? If I do this, that doesn't make you dizzy, right? No? <laughs> Imagine if you had uh, 3D glasses on and you're <laughs> watching that as I was moving the camera all around. You did bring a sick bag with you, didn't, right? didn't you? Yes. <laughs> You would then be woofing your waffles. And cookies along with it. Ooh. I think that's a mountain range. That looks really interesting. The mountain range over there. Fly low, 87. Hello again. We are in Microsoft Flight Simulator this time. Do you have Microsoft Flight Simulator? Because if you want to join us, we're in Indonesia. And uh, we're going to be flying to Australia. 
We've got John right there. He's flying with us. Arrow Bisector is somewhere. <laughs> he was over here. I'm not sure where he's at. And then right behind us, we have Steve. There he is. <laughs> Steve Rings. He's following us in a... Uh, a what is that? Oh, a 787, I think. Well, he's flying low. Yeah, he's right over there. Yeah, so if you want to join us... Oh, you went off. Okay. Well, why did you do that, Arrow? <laughs> I thought you were my wingman. I thought you were my wingman. Oh. Well, that's what autopilot is for. But then again, I don't think... What were you flying? You were flying, you were flying a Robin. Oh, no, you weren't. Flying something. I don't think you had autopilot on that. <laughs> Surrey. Oh, sorry. For a moment, I thought you were trying to say Shirley, and I was going to say, I understand, and don't call me Shirley. <laughs> ah. Alrighty. Whoa, hello. Good to see ya. Well, maybe, uh, maybe one of these other times you'll, uh, we'll be able to fly. Am I doing a 24-hour stream? Not today. Um, I have been wanting to do a 24-hour stream, though. I should actually be asleep, but <laughs> I couldn't sleep. I may have to go let my dog out. I think I can do that after we land. We can take a short break. They've made progress. Oh, fly by wire, the A32. NX fly by wire. Ooh. Look at that. That looks nice. I still don't have that mod. I need to get that mod. Let's show you where we're at. We're about halfway. Here we are. No, we're more than halfway. So we're going to be landing here. We're flying over here. Uh, in a Cessna, that would take forever. Uh, so, <laughs> so we're going to switch to something faster once we get here. Which is at Kendari. Let's take a look at the airport information here. Oh yeah, taking off with a 737 from this. That should be interesting. <laughs> That's perfect. That's perfect for us. Uh, 
Oh no, John, don't fall asleep. Well, you might make it uh, to the airport. Well, you know, the first airport, the Kandari one. Yeah, it is. There are a lot of trees here. Ah, oh, it looks like you're up ahead. I guess I can speed up a little bit. throttle up here. Maybe about 94%. Oh, let's see. Can I program active flight plan? See W waypoint information. I want to see how far away we are. This is weird. Why is it going from D to T? Huh. I guess I can't... I can put waypoints in there, but I can't... put airports? That's lame. Who needs that anyway? <laughs> Am I joining next week's Cross the Pond? I didn't even know there was uh, uh, anything going on. I haven't been on VATSIM for a while. Just because I've been working on videos and uh, doing a lot of editing and stuff. was I looking at? Oh, okay. That's what it was. I gotta get that mod for the Airbus. Let's see. That sim. Let's take a look at the events that that sim has going on here. Got that sim. Okay, so click on events. We got Austria, Dubai to Milan, First Wings, Amsterdam to Munich. Whoop, we need to change this here. More. Show me more. Uruguay, Santiago, Argentina, Ecuador, Dusseldorf. Nuremberg, Berlin, Gatwick, Czech, Cologne, Tel Aviv, Hamburg, Stuttgart. I can't Kuwait. All right, that one I want to go on. <laughs> I can't Kuwait. 
that sounds that sounds too too good. Greece, Berlin, East Coast, Moscow, Argentina. There's Dusseldorf again. They must not have it on here yet. Unless it's the expedition. I don't know. Singapore. Across the Rockies, eastbound. And Zurich. Try to do an emergency landing. My landings are like emergency landings. <laughs> it's like, what do you mean? My, my landings are emergency landings. <laughs> yeah, go, go back and watch my X-Plane video. Oh, no, wait a minute. No, not the X-Plane video. Uh, earlier on this stream, I was trying to land uh, at, an air, uh, at a landing strip in the middle of the mountains. Yeah, that didn't quite go well, but... I can't believe I can't get this thing to to work. Like it's got waypoints, but how come? Oh, you know what? It probably doesn't have the. No, it would have to have. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I can put the airport we're going to in here. Let's try that. W-A-W-W. -W -W. Let's try that. Let's see if that works. Look like that almost said waffle. W A W. Wah, wah, wah. Where's the W at? What the heck? Q R S T U no U is missing V W Oh this is dumb Why can't I pull that up? Do I have to put KDI in here instead? Uh, nope, that's not going to work. Ah! Hate those things. They don't work. Redeemed. Pick the next flight sim. And one hour flight. Oh. Arrow. That's what, <laughs> that's what you did. I still have to do the one that... Yeah, that's, that's the flight that you want me to do on, on X-Plane. Which I'm sorry that I have not done yet. I've been wanting to get X-Plane 11 
kind of jazzed up in that area, so I've been downloading uh, uh, some some stuff to be able to get it to look visually. Plus, I want to do some practice runs on the um, that airliner that I forgot what it was. <laughs> what was it? The 747, 737, or something like that. Yeah, I want to do some practice runs with that, so that way, when I do that flight, it's an act. It's, uh, you know, it's not just a haphazard flight. You know, I try to put together a, um, uh, a good flight for you. You tried to go to Indonesia earlier, but if not, it's okay to just be curious. What's my, what's my name in the, uh, it's Killer Gamer. Do you mean in here? It's, it's Killer Gamer. It's K-I-L-R Gamer. One word. I purposely did that because I figured that there were going to be uh, viewers like yourself that uh, would want to fly with me. So um, I put my name in there so that way it was easy to find me. This is interesting. We're getting closer. Let's show you Navigraph. Here we are. Right here. We're, we're going to be landing here at Kendari. Kendari. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> No, oh, no problem, John. No problem. Oh, I don't want to ignore the other other requests. I still want to do that. I'm hearing a beeping sound. I think that's my... Ah, yes! We got a signal here. Although I don't have this turned on, so... This is weird. Whoa! There we go. Well, we're pretty much headed there. We're heading in that direction. Gee, now wouldn't it be nice if we actually had distant? Oh, we do. Maybe. Okay, we're 35 miles. Come on, John, you can make it. 35 miles? We got 35 miles to go to the airport. Oh, John. <laughs> Put the airplane on autopilot. Take a cat nap. Okay, 
I don't know why this is coming on here. I can't turn that off. Don't you like how there's a button here for DME, but yet there's no DME on the aircraft? DME beacon receiver audio off. Huh, where's the DME? I don't know. It's a Cessna 172. Something very basic like DME should be on here, but nope. <laughs> well, at least this is working here, so that's something. That's probably why they didn't put it on here, because of that. I'm going to go ahead and speed up a little bit. thing is still beeping. <laughs> I can't I can't turn that off. So I'm going to guess the airport is right out here in this flatland area. I'm seeing messages on YouTube that got retracted. What happened? That's weird. Yeah, some of your messages disappeared over on YouTube. I don't see them. Yeah, Chrissy, don't fall asleep yet. We got 27 miles to go. And I, I sped the plane up, so we should be getting there soon. That's why I was trying to get it in here, because I wanted to see if I could get estimated uh, arrival time, and this just wasn't working. I think Steve is still with us, though. I can hear the airliner in the, in the background. Let's take a look. I think he's still back there. There he is. There's Steve. Hanging with us in his 787. Man, I'm surprised he hasn't surpassed us. That's pretty cool. There's a little town over here, too. Right over there. Let's check a map and see what that is. Yeah, 737. Are you going to be awake for a 737 flight? or? Or do you all want to take a break and, and we can come back in a few hours? Hmm, 
I'm not seeing what town that is. Here's Kandari right here. This is where we're going to be landing. Here's the airport. This is it. Hololeo Airport. Okay, so here's what it's going to look like. It's the one one strip, right? Looks like, and there's a little area here. So that's just what we saw on Navigraph. So you all know what to expect here. I probably should start getting ready to... What are we at? We're at 20 miles? What's the altitude there? 189 feet. Hmm, maybe I should start making a descent. What do you think? Let's go down to 3,000 feet. Where is that at here? There we go. That doesn't seem to be going down. There we go. I had the wrong one. Okay. Okay, we're going to go down to about 3,000 feet. We're less than 20 miles. Whoops, what did I do? What did I do? Yeah, it looks like we're 16 miles from the airport. Can we play Goose Chase? <laughs> Who's the goose? Probably me. <laughs> what kind of sound does a goose make? Aflac! <laughs> what sound does a goose make? Aflac! Okay, if this is working properly, it should stop about 3,000 feet. I think that's it. I think that's the airport right there on the uh, Garmin. We are 12 miles, 12 miles away, and I probably should set this here. Yeah, we're kind of coming off course here a little bit. There we go. 12 miles from the airport. We're coming down to 3,000 feet.
we're at 10 miles. Yeah, I know, Flylo. That's what that's what I was saying. The fact that that 787 has been keeping up with us and not surpassing us, that he's able to slow it down. I'm actually, I'm impressed. That he's been able to keep it that slow and not uh, stall and crash it. That's That's actually pretty impressive. Okay, the airport sh should be coming up here. Okay, I'm going to start dropping flaps. We are six miles. We should be able to see it. Okay, I'm down the full flaps here. We got some more squiggly lines down here. Unless we're flying right over it. KDI. Ooh, the Vores here is the airport here. That airport has got to be here somewhere. This is going to be interesting. You know what? I don't think the airport is in here. I think this is a missing airport. Take a look. It's missing. The airport's not here. No wonder I couldn't put it in the database. The VOR is here. The airport is not. Well, this sucks. Wow, that is disappointing.
Whoa, whoa, there it is, there it is, right there. Let's turn off autopilot. All right, time for some fun flying now. <laughs> Oh yeah, here we go. We're at the perfect altitude. Yeah, so I think that's the airport right there. Wow, this doesn't have any buildings or anything at it. Oh yeah, this is a grass strip, isn't it? That's okay, this will work. Because apparently the airport we're looking for is not here. Missing airports and Microsoft Flight Simulator. Hey, you know, that, that's not a thing. That's okay, a little bit of bush flying, why not? Here, I'll just get off the uh, grass way. Did the 737? Oh, there he is. <laughs> he just flew right by. There he is. <laughs> There's Steve right there. <laughs> He's like, man, killer gamer, get out of the freaking way. <laughs> He's like, he was going to try to land. He's like, killer gamer, get out of the way. Oh, no, Steve, don't crash. Well, there he goes, there he goes. He's he's picking up. He's coming around. I'll go ahead and shut this off. What? Place, war, vicinity. I guess I am there. Oh, who knows? Continue. Come on, Steve, you can do it. We'll wait for you, Steve. You can do it. <laughs> Are you going to land over there?
Why don't I get the Navigraph beta cycle for... Actually, I did sign up for it. Um, but I thought I read somewhere that it might mess things up for the other simulators, so I didn't uh, move it forward. I did get a, uh, accepted for the beta, though. Oh, that doesn't look good. Steve looks like he's about ready to nosedive into the ground there. Come on, Steve. We're waiting for you. You can do it. <laughs> Yacinto! Hey, Yacinto! Yeah, this is definitely more realistic than the old Sims, but uh, yeah, we tend to have a have a we tend to have a good time no matter what we're playing or flying. We've got Steve. Steve was following us in a 787. Doing a pretty damn good job considering that I was flying in a Cessna. The fact that he was flying as slow as he was and not stalling and crashing was pretty impressive. So we're looking to see if he can land over here on the grass runway. Uh oh. Boom! <laughs> That's one of my landings right there. <laughs> We're not judgmental, Steve. It's okay. That was probably better than what I could do. There he is. <laughs> just seeing, the, just seeing the 787 over here on this grass uh, strip is funny. Pick any parking spot, any parking spot. Oh, he's backing up. Okay. Back it up. Back it up. No, that's a 787. <laughs> oh, that was cool. <laughs> Backed up so quick that it lifted up there. Okay, let us let's go ahead and change the uh, aircraft here. Now you should be able to do that from the developer menu. Let me turn that on. Oh yeah, apply and save. It's like right here under options, I th think. No. Windows, Tools. Sim, uh, uh, airports. I thought it was here somewhere. Uh, we were going to switch over to a 737. I thought there was an option here to be able to switch... Maybe they took it away. There was there was an option. I I there was an option where you could switch uh, airplanes, but yeah, I guess they I guess they got rid of it. That's okay. It didn't work anyway. <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I don't know.
All right, we'll continue from where we are. W A W W. Aha! Uh -huh, see, the airport's not in here. Just the grass runway. not like that was a small airport. Let me go back to Indonesia here and see if... There's an airport... There's Steve. <laughs> Yeah, see, the airport's not even in here. Are there no airport? There's like no airports over here. Holy crap. Well, there's an airport over here. All right, so we're going to go to WAWR. This is where our 737 is at. So, uh, we took a car and something, so. That's it, and we are going to uh, Darwin, that's right. Darwin. And there's enough Darwin airports. YPDN. Y, 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 here it is. Oh, really? Is that a five-hour flight? Oh, <laughs> it might help if I change this. No 737. There is a 747, though, that I can fly. So, yeah, we can do a 747. Okay, well, I guess I don't have much as far as liveries are concerned. So yeah, we can do the 747 or the Airbus. I can fly the Airbus. Well, here I can. Why don't I try Vietnam? I don't know. We want to finish our, our flight to uh, Darwin. Here's a flight here that's only an hour and 43 minutes. There we go. Okay, we got a flight here for an hour and 43 minutes. That shouldn't be too bad. Let's take a look at the presets. Let's try something here. How about building storms? We'll change the time here. We'll advance it to about one o'clock. Yeah, we would. <laughs> if I was still in the Cessna, we'd be flying for another five hours. Oh, did someone? Uh. Oh, okay. There's John. He accept. Okay, I didn't realize he sent that to me. All right, so I'm on West USA, folks. In case you want to uh, join. Oh, hey, fly low. It's no problem. No problem. I'm just glad to have you on. Um, I know there are some people that they just, they, they, uh, I was going to say they turned me on and that doesn't sound right. <laughs> they turn on the channel <laughs> and they have me on the background while either, while they're working on something, which I think is cool. So. Live weather? Nah, I don't want to do live weather. Whiskey Alpha, Whiskey Romeo, Traffic Gamer, Golf Alpha, Mike, Echo, <laughs> taking off runway 26 East, departure. Perfect! <laughs> From
from a small airport. This is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to be great. I don't even think I flew this thing yet. Oh, my word. Alright, uh, what am I doing here? Uh, let's see. Let's set the... Ah, screw that. We, we always go over speed because, well, we do. Let's see, 10,000 feet altitude, that's probably fine. Let's see. That's on. Auto throttle is on. Okay. That'll work. Okay, this should be fun. <laughs> business Boeingly Boeing Business Boeing Jet. <laughs> like, look at this. <laughs> My wingspan barely makes it. <laughs> See, look at it. You can hear the storm. Oh, yeah. This is going to be great, folks. Welcome to Killer Gamer Comedy. I'm at full throttle. Oh, I probably should drop flaps, huh? Boy, those are some good parking brakes. I'm at full throttle and I'm not moving. <laughs> think I should do full flaps? Alright. I think they're all the way down. All right, landing gear up. Probably should be <laughs> probably should go back in here. Okay. Um, let's see. Autopilots. Autopilot is on. Let's turn on L nav. It's like uh, <laughs> extreme close up. Whoa! Apparently, oh, oh, that's right. My flaps are still down. All right, there we go. Okay, speed is on. We are not going up uh, for some reason, or are we? Odd. 
Vertical speed is up. This is up. How come we're not going... We are. Okay. We are going up. We're just going up slowly. Let's try this. Okay, we're good. I think we are good to go here. Let's see. A little lightning flash there. Okay, so we don't have to wait a minute. Well, I I don't see it here, but it is on the VFR map. Yeah, see, the fact that it's not realistic is exactly why I can fly it. <laughs> There's the line. Why is that showing that like that? There we go. Okay. Okay, so see, we're on it. How much fuel? I don't know. Sorry, I missed all your chat over there on YouTube. It's a girl. Well, yeah, I, th I thought you were. Tackle football. That's that's impressive. You could probably beat me up. I was I was never in the tackle. I'll tell you I'll tell you what though. Um, when I was in the army, uh, I tell you what, my army buddies just loved to pick on me. They uh, we were doing uh, the tackle football. It was uh, in the morning after we did our uh, exercises and stuff and I was stationed in Germany at the time so it rains a lot in Germany so there was there was quite a bit of mud well I, I tell you what even when I didn't have the ball they came after me and took me down uh, just because they could <laughs> so yeah that's probably the most uh, tackle football I've done. Okay. What are we at? We're at 90. Oh, we're above two th uh, 10,000. Let's go ahead and speed up here. What, maybe about 350? We'll go higher in altitude, too. Am 
My goodness, this takes forever. Let's take it up to 30,000. I'll just click I'll just click and hold this. All right, yeah, let's climb up to uh, 30,000 feet here. Uh, 350 knots. That's not too bad. <laughs> Flylo, are you in Germany? Are you actually in Germany? Ooh, we're got icing. I guess I better uh, do something about that. Let's see, glare shield, blah, 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 landing lights, I didn't do any of this stuff. Anti-ice, here we go. On. Let's see, maybe that'll do it. Beacon lights. Oh, wait a minute, they were on. Okay. Cool. So, when I was in the army, I was stationed in Schweinfurt. Schweinfurt, Germany. That's where I was at. The uh, the army base is not there now. They've turned it into a uh, uh, a housing area for I forget the term. Those that are coming into the country. Schweinfurt, also known as Pig Crossing. Well, let's see. I got the end. Oh, no, I don't. Okay. Let's see if that worked. That's engine anti-ice. We need the one for the windshield. Windshield, anti-ice, where are you? Nope, nothing up there. Huh. Window heat, here we go. Washer on. Set wipers, we don't need that. Okay, window heat, that should do it. Man, <laughs> You gotta like how the window heat makes that... I the icing, the way that comes up there is really cool. 
But when you turn on the window heat and it completely disappears that quickly, um, I don't think is cool. Canale Grande window heat. Yep, we're looking for it. We found it. <laughs> yeah, Chris has got a lot of emojis there. We are flying. Flying above the clouds. Yeah, there's Steve. He's still following us there. There he is. <laughs> Look at this. Killer intercontinental. <laughs> this is something that Microsoft Flight Simulator got right. The clouds. The clouds are awesome in this simulator. we doing why are we going up and down here oh because we're having a problem with the although I think they did something with the uh, the graphics because these don't look as detailed as they were when I first uh, started flight sim these look a little too smooth there's there's not a whole lot of definition there I don't think Yacinto what is my name I go by Vaughn Shep Thus, the Shep Rambles uh, series that I have on the channel. It is. Arrow, the, uh, the clouds are set to Ultra. I'll show you. Bum, bum, bum. Graphics. Where are we at? See, I got some stuff on Ultra. Windshield effects, Ultra. Where the heck are the clouds? They were here. Oh, here it is. Volumetric clouds on Ultra. <laughs> Steve passed us. <laughs> How is it spelled? V O N S H E P. I have some uh, music videos and stuff on the channel uh, of some songs that I composed and put together, and um, I use my name on that. Try to look at this runway. I don't know. I'm seeing the Mandalorian is what I'm seeing. <laughs> no, it's an advertisement. 
It's got clouds, though. Dubendorf Air Force Base, November 22nd, 2016. I'm not really seeing the airport, but I am seeing the planes. Oh, looks like I have to go towards the end here. Hey, that reminded me of the flight that I did that where we barely uh, cleared that uh, fence. <laughs> That's an interesting... Uh, That's cool. No, 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 no. It's uh, here. I'll type it in chat. Sorry. There you go. <laughs> V-O-N-S-H-E-P. So, yeah, if you look at the, like, in the description section of some of those... Uh, uh, videos that I do, you'll see uh, some some of the music I composed, and I've I've got my name listed there. Yeah, these clouds are not as detailed as they should be. I remember reading people were complaining that somehow their graphics got messed up or something. Oh, and you sent to, I sent you an email, by the way. I sent you that file. Well, okay, no, I sent you a link to the, uh, Google Drive and I'm hoping that that file that APLC uh, file will work for you yeah I I just I just copied it from my working copy of um, a pro flight 2000 so just uh, just copy that into your adventure folder and hopefully that'll work. I don't know if it's going to work on Windows 10, but it's worth a shot. Okay, we're at 30,000. Let's try going higher here. Let's go up to 40,000. I think we can fly at 40,000 with this. Okay. We're going to have to bring this down a little bit. Going up Mach point eight six. We're flying over what appears to be a thunderstorm.
What is my favorite airline? Well, in reality, uh, Southwest, because the airline is actually fun to fly. Um, and Flight Simulator, though? I don't think I have a preference, because I like I like flying all the different liveries. I I especially like to fly ones that are rare. Uh, you know, ones that you don't see a lot of or, or, or ones that are no longer in service. Um, I like those. I will say that the, the American Airlines, the Silver Bullet, the one that's completely silver, I do like that. Um, that's my favorite livery from uh, American Airlines. Oh! Got it. Um, Southwest, it's funny. Southwest Airlines, they have, you know, the, the ones where they have, like, the Arizona one, the California one, the Texas one. Uh, what is it called? Lone Star? Lone Star 1? I love those. Where it's got the... Where, like, their flag is, like, painted on the... Those I like. If I if I was to say if, if Diddy Thing was my favorite, it's those. So, yeah, I guess Southwest Airlines. But I like flying the different liveries just because I like to fly different types of things. Lufthansa, British, KLM, Iberia. I don't think I've flown Iberia yet. Wow, we're at 40,000 feet and these clouds are still up here. Uh, wait a minute, we're losing altitude. Why are we losing altitude? What's happening here? That's weird. Am I not able to get up to 40,000? Come on, it's a 747. We should be able to get to a, an altitude of 40,000, right? It's not my speed. My speed is up. Flaps are completely up. We're at full throttle. I'm going to turn this on now. See, look what it's doing. It's taking me back down again. Maybe this is too high. Or maybe it's the storm. How much load do I have? Good question. Let's see. Not much, I don't think. 44% on fuel. Payload 24.30%. 
Pilot, 170 pounds. <laughs> yes, I wish. <laughs> I was 190 when I was in the Army. Not anymore. Fly low, yes, the American Airlines bare metal livery. Uh, <clears throat> I like that one. I like to think of it as a silver bullet. So that one right there, I like this. I, I like this look. That's okay, <laughs> but I like I like the silver uh, shiny look. Oh, you know what? We're about halfway to... Not yet. I'm going to put up Navigraph here. Here we are. Right here. So we're, get, we're getting there. Having a bit of a... Okay, so I had my vertical speed too high. That's why it was stalling. I don't think we need to go to 4,000 anyway. Let's make it 33. Flight level 330. There we go. Turn the speed down just a little bit. Oh, I am not over speeding. Well, maybe I am a little bit. thing is still boy no matter how hard I try I sure can't get up to 30,000 or I got up there but now it's oh man this thing is being stupid come on So I just turn this vertical speed on and off. Hopefully that will. We need to make this a little bit faster here. There we go. Steve Rings is still with us. He's up there at 34... 34,000 feet. What 
are my weather themes here? Let's see, I got building storms, calm winds, heavy rain, heavy wind and rain. There's hurricane conditions. Wildfire, is that a new one? Thundery but calm. That's a new one. There is a recent update to the to that program. We're still going up, kind of. Would, you, would I rather have... That's too many zeros. I don't know how much that is. <laughs> one trillion? I don't know. One trillion subs or one tr trillion candy? Ghana? Well, let me... Let me put it this way. I do want uh, subscribers, but it's more important to me that people are subscribed because they want to be subscribed, because they want to be here. So although numbers are good, um, I'm more about the quality than I am the numbers. If that makes any sense. Yeah, so naturally I would love to have a lot of uh, subscribers and stuff, but it's more important to me to uh, that everyone that is subscribed is subscribed because, you know, they want to be here and uh, and stuff. There, you know, there are channels out there, they do like clickbait and all that other stuff, and I'm not about that. I just like to put together good quality entertainment, and, you know, I'm, I'm more about having a strong uh, community. You know, we're, we're a lot more tight-knit as, as a result, you know, and then we just kind of grow uh, steady from there. That's what I and and that's what I mean. We have such an awesome community here um, on Twitch and YouTube, and and we're slowly, slowly but surely growing. I'm getting new subscribers every week, so uh, that's really cool. And that's the thing. the The community means a lot to me. That that and that's that's what I'm trying to build. I'm trying to you know build up a, a strong community here. That's why we call it the killer community. 
because you're all killer awesome. Let's see, we're at 32,400 feet. Our first waypoint is Adnat. Aflac! Adnat. 69 miles. 1526. Oh, that's the time. <laughs> Maybe, I think. I don't know. How do I assess subscriber quality? I think it's just based on the type of uh, feedback that I see on videos. Like I can see like, I know who my repeat viewers are. I mean, sure, there's a lot of people out there that don't comment on videos and stuff, but I can tell when I look at my videos and then if I look at other people's videos and the commentary that's in them, you just, you've got, the quality of the conversations just seems different. Once in a while, we have some people like that that come over here uh, uh, to the videos and we'll put something in there that's... a little uh, short, I guess you could say. <laughs> Also, too, I know there are some there are some channels out there where they boost their numbers. Uh, I think through some type of algorithm or something like that. Like, for example, there are some channels out there that have been out there for like maybe two, three, or four months, and they've got over a hundred and fifty thousand subscribers or two hundred thousand uh, subscribers or, and tons of you. How is that possible? How can you be on YouTube for two or four months and have that many? That uh, I don't I don't see how that is possible. I've had, I've had my YouTube channel since what? I think it's nine years now. I think, I think it's been going on for nine years. Now granted uh, in those nine years, it's only been the past couple of years that I've actually been pushing more and more content on the channel. So I've been re working really hard on the channel these past couple of years. Now, if I had done that nine years ago, <laughs> might be a bit bigger today. Well, you know, as far as old Sims, there is a Sims 1 series on the channel. And there's also The Sims Online. So if you like the original vanilla Sims game with no expansions, I do have a series on that. Um, as well as The Sims Online, which... Uh, was brought back and is a uh, free SO now.
How are we doing here? Yay! We finally made it up to our altitude. How many subscribers do I have? Well, that should be on the channel there, if you take a look. It's like 300. The last I looked, it was like 344, I think. Yeah, there are a lot of videos. <laughs> I have something like 1,200 videos on the channel. What can I say? I'm a I'm a video maker, video producer. A lot of those videos, um, when I started doing that world tour series and I started adding all those simulators to it, that's what jacked up the number of videos. This year, at the beginning of this year, I wanted this to be a big year for the channel. So I had, I started coming out with a schedule. I have a weekly schedule and a weekly and a monthly schedule of, I have written things out to where certain series will show on certain days at certain times. I have it all programmed out just like a just like an actual television station. Some of the actual episodes I kind of fall behind on. But you may notice that there are some series that come out on a certain day at a certain time. So, for example, uh, the Minecraft Greenfield series is scheduled to come out on a weekly basis. Uh, on Mondays, I think it's 12 p.m. Pacific, noontime Pacific, I think. Uh, and likewise, the Flight Sim 2020 World Tour is scheduled to come out every Saturday. The one that I'm trying to get out on a regular basis are the game reviews. Uh, and that the idea was to get two out a week, one flight simulator related and one non-flight simulator related. Um, I haven't quite gotten to that point yet just because of the amount of time that it takes to, to, to do those videos. Okay, fly low. We'll see you later. Hey, keep in mind the uh, the stream will be here on Twitch, so you can uh, come back and rewatch the parts that you missed. So. And it'll be on YouTube as well. So you won't miss anything. Oh my goodness, I am getting hungry. <laughs> I could use some waffles. Oh, you know what? I need to let my dog out. I'll be back with you. I'm going to go let my dog out. It's that time.
Alrighty, I am back here. Ah, uh. oh, Yacinto, you're, you're taking off. Okay. <laughs> well, it's nice to see you. Nice to have you here. Uh, with the stream. Do come again, come again. We are getting close to Australia. Um, yeah, Australia, we are getting close. <clears throat> Here's the map. Here we are. So I don't think it's going to take much longer for us to, to get there. Probably should start our descent, I'm wondering. That's cool. Glad to have you on the uh, with me on the streams. Let's clear up this weather a little bit. <clears throat> High level clouds. Not sure I like that. Big and bold? Oh, I did that before. That looked pretty cool. Ah, there we go. So, we got dense clouds here. Oh yeah, the uh, we should be landing. Not too much. I don't know what the ETA is, uh, honestly. Um, Elbis. We're fifteen miles from that. Hey, I'm one of the waypoints. <laughs> Look at this. I'm one of the waypoints. on <laughs> right down here <laughs> it's only one p but yeah that's uh i'm one of the waypoints oh what the heck what is this what's this this has got me going around in a interesting way okay well i'll go for that Unfortunately, I don't think this gives us uh, ETA either. There's the legs. 
Some of the flight management computers, they, they'll give you ETA and then some of them don't. But here are the... This is what we have left. We've got this one. Those right there. Maybe we're 761 miles away. At 0.85 Mach. I'm sure there's a formula somewhere that will figure that out. Probably, probably about an hour. <clears throat> when I started the flight plan, flight simulator was saying it was going to be just under two hours. Uh, we should probably look up information for the airport. Might be good to get prepared before to, uh, beforehand. All right, so here we are. We're on this uh, vector right here. That is the M768 airway. We have an ILS runway 29 and that's actually it's taking us around to land on that okay so we'll need to come down here to 3,000 feet Do we have any stars or anything? Ah, who needs it? <laughs> Lapar. Is that one of them? No, I don't see it. Flight simulator has us going around in this direction and will have us coming around this way. So I'm going to tune us in. Uh, to this, the ILS. So we'll get ready for that. Nine point seven. Yeah, where is that stuff? Ah, here it is. That's the comm radio. I want the nav radio. Where's the nav radio? Is that it? No, that's comm. Comm. Huh. Comm radio, comm radio. Hmm. Is it over here? Oh, wait a minute. Nope. Here it is. Okay, so VOR... Nine point seven. Of 
course 286. I think that's right. Well, there I am, right over here. Okay, there we go. About 75 miles to ship. It looks like we're facing downwards, but we're not. If you look at our attitude indicator here, we are not facing downwards. It looks like we are. Bye, Jacinto. Sorry if I didn't catch you before you left. What time is it? It's 6 in the morning for me. I've been up all night. <laughs> you know, it's uh, funny, for the longest time, I didn't like uh, flying the... Uh, the airliners. <clears throat> I think I tried flying them either in Flight Simulator 5 or 98 back during that time and I had a hard time trying to get it off the ground. <laughs> and then landing them, yeah, that didn't work out so well. <laughs> so I just, I didn't uh, fly them. I, I was always do, uh, my goodness. I was always doing uh, general aviation, so I started. I am. Um, I started doing more airliners this year uh, on the classic sims as well as the modern ones because um, I wanted to. I wanted to broaden my horizons. <laughs> I think once we get to the Shep Waypoint, um, we'll start our descent. I think I'll bring it down to 10,000. Let me look at the stars and see if I can 
see if there's a decent show overview. Here we go. I don't really see a, a decent star that applies to our situation. Oh, pff. it might help if I look at the right airport. Oh, no, I am looking at the right airport. ILS runway 29. Arrivals. Quite a few different ones. Aha! There we go. Donya, D O N Y A. I think I found us a uh, a star that we could use. This one right here. Although this is an RNAV arrival, but this is pretty close to what we're doing right here. We're coming in around like this and then around like this. So this is pretty close to what Flight Simulator gave us. So this will at least give me altitude, I think. Maybe not. 1600, I don't know, 16,000? <laughs> I don't know what. 1600T stands for. I thought maybe this would give us altitude, but it doesn't. We'll get there. We're, we're coming in. See? There it is right there. So that's what we got. Seven thousand feet. Gamer Golf Alpha Mike Echo Romeo, you have exceeded your clearance point time. IFR flight plan is cancelled. Brisbane Center, Gamer Golf Alpha Mike Echo Romeo, request IFR to Darwin ready to copy. Gamer Golf Alpha Mike Echo Romeo is cleared to Darwin Airport as filed. Squawk 0135. Gamer Golf Alpha Mike Echo Romeo cleared to Darwin Airport as filed. Squawk 0135. Gamer Golf Alpha Mike Echo Romeo read back correct. Radar contact flight level 325. Continue to ship turning and following heading 135 for resume on navigation descent and maintain flight level 290. Ah, okay. This works too. Continue to ship turning and following heading 135. <coughs> Proceed on course descent and maintain flight level 290 Gamer Golf Alpha Mike Echo Romeo. They can give us our descent information, so that works. I can go for that.
over speed, over speed, over speed. You know, I was going to let ATC give us the uh, descent instructions, but then I remembered this is uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator ATC, <laughs> which uh, it's not always the greatest. I'm going to bring it down to 10,000. How about 11,000? How about that? We'll go to 11,000. And so that we're not over speeding, I am going to bring the throttles down. Oh, well, it's going to do that anyway. Never mind. <laughs> do my spoilers work, I wonder? Let's see. Whoops. <laughs> I was trying to arm it. <laughs> They got me switching squat codes and everything else. That's pretty impressive. Hmm. I like this little cubby hole here. <laughs> right there. Little cubby hole in the uh, clouds. Should be seeing an island here before we get to Australia. 
Oh, what island is that? Merville or Twin T It could be Tiwi Islands or Melville Island. I don't know, I see both names sitting on there. I think it's Tiwi Islands. So we should see the Tiwi Islands uh, here pretty soon. State, I'll just say West Side. Just for uh, privacy reasons. <clears throat> Why am I going up? That's not what I have this thing set for. Up. No, down. Man, this autopilot. Let's slow this down, too. That could be part of the reason. Oh, I can't switch to knots, apparently. Well, are we going to break through these clouds here? That's kind of cool. We're starting to break through. Yeah, I don't give out a whole lot of personal information, and that's because I'm married, I have a family, so I have to think about them also. Well, we're coming in. We should be the that Tiwi Island should be like right below us. bring us down a little bit more. How about 8,000? And speed restrictions, we need to bring it down under 250. That's 280 there. Why 
Why can't I change this? Switch to knots, okay. Well, it doesn't let me switch to knots. It's stuck. Aha! There we go. There's the island. This is the Tiwi Islands uh, over here. So we'll see Australia in just a little bit. Bang, bang. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your seatbelts on. We are approaching. <laughs> Should have put your seatbelts on a little while ago. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, let's see, we're getting down to 8,000. So we are flying to the land down under. Are we going to go get ourselves some Vegemite sam uh, sandwiches? Have you ever had Vegemite? Holy smokes. It tastes like oil. <laughs> it looks like oil and tar. <laughs> oh my goodness. I had Vegemite one time. Oh. It must be an acquired taste. <laughs> A Coke or root beer? Not all root beers have caffeine. Some don't. I think A and W was I think A and W is caffeine free, but I think Barks root beer has has caffeine in it. My daughter keeps drinking Rock Stars, and she needs to stop doing that. I was drinking Rock Stars, and then it was really, uh, it was really messing me up. I had to stop drinking them. About 234 knots. I can't switch this stupid thing here. See, look at this. Yay, Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'll keep it around. At least I can look at this. Alright, so we are at 8,000 feet. We're flying over the Tiwi Islands here. Oh, monitor! It don't work. I got one over here too, but it don't work. We got an inoperative. Just once, can I have a plane where everything works on it? Some of the planes I have come close.
but I want like every button switch and everything to actually work and do what it's supposed to and be able to pull out uh, the circuit breakers and exchange them and stuff The VFR map is not working. I was trying to zoom into it. It doesn't seem to be working. You know, I didn't look. Is Steve still out there? Steve, are you still out there? There he is! He's still with us! Steve rings, he's still with us. And he's also flying a 747. Oh, he's down lower than we are. Looks like he's going down the 3,000 feet. I think I see the mainland. I think that's it. Right over there. So here it is. Here's Darwin right here. So we're going to be coming in just like this, which should get us somewhat lined up. You know, the one thing I've never been able to get to work on these planes is the VNAV. <laughs> I've never been able to get this thing to work. So, I like, I do all my altitude and stuff with this here. Um, um, I know Aero Bisector and uh, I think a few, uh, some others that said, Why don't you use VNAV? Oh, because VNAV always seems to be broke when I use it. Yeah, if I was flying these planes properly, probably VNAV would work. But no, here I am. <laughs> it's just changing the uh, altitude and the vertical speed and stuff, you know. <laughs> yeah, real pilots would have everything programmed in here and all that good stuff. Mm, not me. <laughs> it's a thrill ride whenever we fly. Ooh, look at this. Look at, uh. Do you see this? The masking here for the water is horrible. You're seeing a, a photo of the water of the coastline here. 
That is awful. Do you see? Like, it looks fine here, but then look at this. This looks a little better over here, but yeah, this is... Yeah, that's crappy. I haven't slept? Nope, not yet. <laughs> yeah, look at our discovery here. Not Star Trek discovery. Um, this coastline here, that's horrible. The masking is not good here. We're just north of Australia, by the way. Here it is, Navigraph. That's where we are. And we're coming around like this. So we're almost here to Darwin. Well, yeah, so there you are. There's Australia. And we are coming in here. So this is like the Tiwi Islands or something like that. Okay, so the airport. Oh, there. Yeah, it's right there. Steve just landed. Or oh, he's about to land. He's been flying with us. Steve has been flying with us. What a trooper. God, well, come on. We got to give it up for Steve. He's been hanging with us. Yeah, the airport's right over there, so it looks like he's going down the land. We're coming around uh, this direction here. I've got the ILS and everything tuned in uh, right here. So I got the VOR and everything tuned in. Although, maybe I'm supposed to put it here. I don't know. 109. Let's try it. 109.7. I know the thing with these flight management computers it's like they're they're never the same they're always different from uh, airplane to airplane they're they're not standard so it's like just as I get used to one then I go to another airplane and it's completely different Go full visual. Oh, you mean a visual landing? That's my normal landing. <laughs> visual is my normal type of landing. Oh, it finally worked. I can actually zoom in on the v VFR thing. <laughs> well the way this autopilot is I might have to disconnect it I'm hoping that I can bring this bird down nice and gently though I don't know we'll, we'll see if I can't get this thing locked in uh, to the ILS, then, yeah, then I will land it manually. But I, I at least want to try to 
I'd like to get it locked in and have it. Uh, I mean, we have a real pilot watching. <laughs> we got a real pilot watching, so I want to at least <laughs> see if I can uh, do a somewhat decent job. Okay, Australia, right over here. <laughs> Chrissy is the real pilot. See, you didn't know this, but I'm actually interviewing for a job and they're watching me right now. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I probably should uh, maybe go down in um, altitude, down to three thousand, like like we should be. That's what the approach chart said. All right, let's do that. For what job? Oh, to be a pilot with Southwest Airlines. <laughs> so I'm saying, <laughs> they're watching me. They want to see how well I land. <laughs> I did. This thing is busted. I did try to switch this to knots. Look. It, it's busted. It's broke. I can click on it and it says switch the knots. But do you see what it's doing? It doesn't work. Yeah, I tried to do that earlier. I was getting worried when I did that. No, that didn't do anything. Oh, we got to go back to vertical speed again. That's okay. No big deal. I can use this over here. It's got the little marker, so I'll just Uh oh. <laughs> I can't make it any lower than that. Oh no. Oh no. We're gonna have to fly this thing in manually, I think. I can't I can't make it lower than that, and I can't switch this. Oh crap. Let's see, can I do this? <laughs> okay, well, I guess we'll be flying in manually. Because I definitely don't want to be on autopilot flying at 0 0.40 Mach.
Yeah, see, I did... Oh, now I can't turn it back on. Oh, I can turn that on. Yeah, that thing doesn't... I don't know, let's do this. Let's turn off the auto throttle. Nope, that don't do nothing either. What did I do? I turned something on over here. Alright, let's uh let's uh turn on heading. There's our approach. I don't know if that's going to... Alright, we're going to have to turn this off. Alright, landing lights. Oh, crap. I can't see them from here. Alright, Chrissy. This is where it gets fun. Uh, landing gear. Where are you, landing gear? Right there. We're going to stop. Dro uh, start dropping some flaps now, too. I can pull up the approach chart. On Navigraph. Now this is a this is not a study level aircraft, so that probably means I can fly this like a Cessna <laughs> and land. Oh, I'm not worried about the turn now. I'm already, uh, well, I'm not overshooting it. I'm undershooting it. Heck, we're flying in manually now, so the flight path doesn't really matter now. Turn all this stuff off. I know I have this stuff off, but... Well, we're flying in at 165 knots, so not too bad. Flaps, yep. Flaps are down. Not all the way down, but they are down. Where is my flaps indicate? That's not it. <laughs> I I don't know where where is the flaps indicator? Well, here's this. All right. Whoops, too much. All right, we're at flaps 10. Oh, over here? No? N1, N2... Hmm, I don't know. That's okay. <laughs> it's a comedy show, remember? <laughs> Steve Rings, he's over there, he's waiting for us. <laughs> All right, let's see. Land the gear down, right? Three green. That doesn't look like green. That 
Wait. No, yeah, that is the land of gear. Okay. Okay, yep, the landing gear's down. The approach thing doesn't appear to be working. Oh well. Bringing down another thing of flaps here. Big mouth. Uh, okay. Um, we're, we'll just ignore that. Hundred and forty knots and nose degree at three. We're getting down a little too low here. I'm at a hundred and thirty two knots. Oh, and we're at uh, 1,500 feet. That's not good. Let's try getting a little bit higher. That's why the display is red or orange. <laughs> Killer Gamer, you're too low. We're at about 133 knots. We're not at full flaps. We may not have to be at full flaps, actually. We're at 20 degrees. Oh, it finally came on! The ILS came on. Well, we know the autopilot is jacked up, so we'll... We'll utilize this and we'll do it manually. Well, it might be a rough landing. It may not. I might surprise you. We're going to be flying this bird in manually because the autopilot uh, was messed up. Is it better when it's butter? <laughs> About 131 knots. Let's see how many miles we got left to go here. 
ILS runway 29, yeah, I don't know, doesn't really say. Okay, we're at 3,200 feet. That is about what I saw on the... That's what I saw on the uh, approach chart. One two five decimal two gamer golf alpha Mike Echo Romeo. Darwin approach gamer golf alpha Mike Echo Romeo three thousand four hundred feet. Gamer golf alpha Mike Echo Romeo, you have exceeded your clearance point time. IFR flight plan is canceled. I didn't want IFR anyway. <laughs> I thought I canceled my flight plan a while ago. Am I landing at the International Airport? Yes. Uh, it's Darwin International. Yankee Papa Delta November. In case you have any charts that you want to pull up. We're going to be landing on ILS... 29 and we get to do it manually <laughs> that's how we like it <laughs> Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? <laughs> Just a little bit further. <laughs> Whoa, I climbed up to 5,000 feet. Whoops. Still climbing. Does that look like that's got buildings, or is it just? I think I see a few, but it doesn't look like the uh, autogen worked really well in this area. Oh, there's the airport. I see it.
Okay, we're almost locked into the localizer. Not the glide slope, though. Ah, there are buildings. Okay, good. It didn't look like any buildings were generating, but I see some now. Gotta love how I'm just, like, nosing down. <laughs> That's not how you fly a 747. There's the glide slope. We're beginning to... <laughs> rock, rock, rock! Well, crap. <laughs> we landed early. <laughs> oh, crap. Now we're going back. To <laughs> oh, crap. Ah! <laughs> Are the people screaming yet? Heck, did I break the landing gear? <laughs> no, okay. Well, it doesn't look like I'll be getting higher by Southwest Airlines anytime soon. Out of all fairness, I think this is the first time I flew the 747 on, on the Microsoft Flight Simulator. We were coming in okay, and then it stalled. I was bringing up the throttle because I saw that the speed was going down, but it didn't go up quick enough. Hey, you know, as long as as long as Ryanair pays well, um, I'll take it. <laughs> Can I get this thing to turned over here? There we go. 
Steve is over there waiting for us. <laughs> I didn't overshoot the runway. <laughs> Gee, where do we park? This looks like an airport that needs to be done a little bit better. So one of my classic killer gamer landings, if you can call it that. <laughs> oh my word. There he is, there's Steve right over there. Well Steve, I don't know if you had a good look. Uh, at that landing. I wish I could have seen it from a third person's perspective. <laughs> that probably was entertaining looking. Oh, all right. My goodness, I've been streaming for six hours? Wow. I didn't realize it was that long. Yeah, time flies when you're having fun. Now's a good time for us, I think, uh, probably to end the flying. Um, I am going to be doing some more live streaming later, uh, but it's uh, Sci-Fi Fantasy Sunday, so uh, we're gonna I'm going to be coming on later on today with some Star Trek Online. Uh, there is uh, an event going on this weekend called it's like the Red Alert event. So we'll be able to fight against the Borg and Tholians and, let's see, the Alachi, the Nakul, I think the Zenkethi. So there, there's quite a few different uh, uh, red alerts. The Borg is one of my favorite ones. Uh, the Tholian ones aren't, aren't too bad. And the Nakul, I haven't played that Red Alert in, the, in a long time. They had taken that off the game for a while. So, so yeah, um, I'm looking forward to doing that a little bit later. So, if you like Star Trek, uh, be sure to come back here a little bit later. And uh, we'll have some fun. I have a great... Um, we'll be playing on my main account. And I've got a ship that kicks ass. <laughs> So, I may not be able to land a 747 really well, but I can blast the hell out of a Borg cube. <laughs> uh, Alright, well anyways, thanks everyone so much for watching. Um, I, I appreciate it. You guys are killer awesome, as always. Um, if you're new, you know what to do, man. Subscribe. Click that notification bell if you're over there on YouTube. That way you get notified of future flight sim content and live streams and all that. And follow me on Twitch if you're not already following me on Twitch. I have been doing multi-streams lately, uh, but I won't do that all the time. Some stuff, once I can get back into the swing of things a little bit, uh, some stuff will only be on Twitch and some stuff will only be on YouTube. Uh, right now, I've been doing multi-streams on both uh, because I haven't been able to do streams as often as I like. So, I've been doing multi-streams for the moment. But once I can get back into the swing of things, we'll have Twitch stuff and we'll have YouTube stuff. So, uh, be sure to follow and subscribe on, on, uh, on both of those. But, that's it. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I will see you on another video and another stream real soon.
Have a killer awesome day.